What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 21 of our Pokemon White Domination. In the last episode, we returned, we made our way to Driftvale City after meeting Alder the Champion, and we got ourselves some new encounters. In today's episode, we are backtracking and dominating our way through this Relic Castle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is called the Relic Castle. Uh, and then we're going to make our way to the east of Nimbasa City. Uh, and take on some trainers so we can be ready to go in Drift Fail in the next episode. If you're excited for more white domination, make sure to thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed with the bell icon clicked, of course. And let's get to it with a team recap. First up, we have our newest member, that is Hymo, our level 24 rock type Bulbasaur, Adamant Nature, with Rain Dance, Psy Shock, Nightshade, and uh, Self Destruct. <clears throat> And the speed boost ability, of course. Next up, we have Mag, or excuse me, Katita, our starter, the Mag. Oh my gosh, Katita, our starter, the level 29 ground type Mag Mortar holding the Amulet Coin, Timid Nature with Vacuum Wave Cut, Lava Plume, and Whirlwind with the Dry Skin ability, which always comes in handy. Next up, we have Hammond, our level 29 Dragon Water type Weavile, Naive Nature with Avalanche, Blue Flare, Zap Cannon, and Spawn. Four, he is our rainbow boy. Look at all those moves with synchronize, of course. I keep going up. I don't know why. Next up, we have Emery the Hacks himself, level 29, Psychic type Porygon 2, holding the Eevee Light Brave Nature with Body Slam, Swift Hurricane, and Roost, and the Rockhead ability. Next, we have Bitor. Last, next, next, we have Bitor, level 29, Electric Poison type Bear Tick, holding the Amulet Coin, Timid Nature with. Acid Sacred Sword, Body Slam, and U-Turn in the Natural Cure ability. And lastly, we have Bridget the Randomized, our level 29 Fire-type Ninetales, Rash Nature with Strength, Acid, Amos, Wind, and Protect, and the Poison Heal, which we got to use in the last episode, the Poison Heal ability. Now, now, I've got a question before we even start. In the future, do you want to see stuff like what we're doing in today's episode in a big montage beforehand? For me... It doesn't matter what, it, like if I'm watching somebody, it really doesn't matter what they're playing. If I enjoy their stuff, I can watch them do an episode like what we're about to do. Uh, I feel like putting up a, uh, a repel. I really do. I feel like putting up a repel in here. Uh, but anyway, let me know if I should be doing stuff like this in a montage. I haven't done any grinding montages. I haven't needed to. My Pokemon have been all over leveled um, the entire time, but we're gonna be, we're gonna be, be, oh my gosh. I think I might put up a repel because I really don't want to deal with it. And our goal today is, our goal today is trainers, really. Get this super repel up. Okay, and I think I battled this guy already. <clears throat> so we will have, there will be a lot of speed up in this episode. Uh, anyway, just let me know if you think we should do stuff like this in a montage or if you like, if you really don't mind seeing it. Cause really what we're gonna be doing, he started with a spatial rend. I'm gonna need you to to not start with a spatial rend. Uh, spatial rend is a dragon type move, right? That means anybody should be able to take it. We haven't seen em or yeah, we haven't seen Emery in a while. Or did we see Emery in the gym battle? We might have seen Emery in the gym battle. But now we can use all of our Pokemon at least for the time being until they get to level 31. And then we're gonna have to use some some new peeps. I really just wish this wasn't the battle theme. And I kinda wish I didn't have to do switch training. But Imo is rock type. Eventually all of these guys will be level 31. And I know it's not gonna take long. I wish this was like reborn. And I had like a, uh, 
In Reborn, you can get like common candies where you can lower the per the Pokemon's level. That's what I'd like. Really? Who's our most valuable team member right now? I'm trying to think of who it, who it is. Who's our most valuable team member? Who's our strongest? Our strongest is either Emery or Katita. Those are the original two. Uh, those are the original two. Oh. Fossils! Cover fossil or plume fossil, flip a coin. Did we have a cover fossil before? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it was not the plume fossil. I totally forgot about that. Wait, I can't move ahead? Oh, that's actually great news. That's actually great news. Because that means I'm not supposed to be here right now. That's actually great news. I'm so happy for that. You know, I was worried because I was like, how long is this little arc going to take us? It will for sure only take us one episode. Wonderful. All right. So let's make our way back. Since I have a rappel up, I don't need to worry about all of this. So now we go to Nimbasa and we, uh, go to the east take on those trainers and we might depending on how quick i can go through that depending on how quick i can go through that we might be able to explore some of driftvale today yeah depending on how quick i can go through it all right that's exciting that's it oh wait 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 do I want to go all the way back to get this plume fossil? No. I need to remember. Or I need help. Someone needs to remind me. When we get fly in... How long would it take me to get all the way back? I'd have to go that way. I'm so curious as to what this plume fossil Pokemon is. I'm gonna make a bad, I'm gonna make a terrible decision here. Cause I know, I know for a fact I will not edit it. I know for a fact I will not edit this. If I was gonna edit it out, it'd be totally different. But let's make our way down. And we can talk, we can come up with something to talk about while we make this ride. Um, what was I, th what was I thinking about? I was watching the UCL if you don't know what the UCL is, you should look it up. Just look up Pokemon UCL. Um, but I was watching UCL, competitive battles, with a lot of really good YouTubers that I enjoy. Um, and man, Draft League sounds like so much fun. I hope that's something I can be a part of one day. I'm pretty sure... Oh, I don't have to hold a speed up button. Awesome. Um, I really hope I can be a part of like a Draft League one day. The whole, it just looks like a whole lot of fun. And by watching all of the battles, because I'm going to make a point to watch all of the battles in the UCL, I'm hoping that I can pick up some more competitive battling skills um, so that I could actually like compete in something like that. If this is a terrible Pokemon, see, I don't know, I don't think they meant for you not to be able to be on your bike at that point. I don't think they meant for that to happen. But anyway, uh, that actually did not take very long at all. Wait, are there still... I don't think there are multiple trainers that I can't battle, but I think that nurse... I think if I still needed to battle, like I still needed a heal, I think that nurse, I don't think I ever battled her. I think I could battle her and get a heal. All right. Yes! 
Be something good. Be something good. Come on. Come on. Come on. This can be good. A Heatran! What? 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 Ha! Ah. That just that makes this whole trip worth it. The fact that it's a legendary Pokemon. It's a Pokemon I've never used before. I've never used a Heatran before. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, that's exciting. Who wants to take a break? Who wants to take a rest? I feel bad boxing any of these guys, but I'm gonna box Bridget just for right now. Just for the moment. Maybe just for the moment. We'll see. See, that makes that makes running all the way back worth it. I was worried. I was like, what if I run back and it's like a core fish? Corefish evolves. That's a terrible example. What if it's like an Alamomola? A llama llama mama llama mama llama. Yes! Alright, uh, I don't know. Does Heatran get a gender? It does. <laughs> oh, his name fits. I hate when names fit. They fit often. We have Lug! The Heatran. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Ice Dark type. If he gets hit with a fighting move, he's gone. Quirky nature, which is, uh, but he has Venoshock, Milk Drink, Trick Room, and Trump Card. He's got rough skin though. I don't have any TMs for him, right? Like, I don't have any Ice or Dark TMs. No, I don't. Okay. I'm going to keep him in the PC because of his moveset. If his moveset was a bit better, I'd probably like immediately adjust for him. But we're about to have, our Pokemon are probably about to go over level 32 or 31. When they get to level, well, if they get to level 32, I have to switch them out. And now I have four Pokemon. So we've done a really good job at, at grabbing encounters. All right, now we've got to make our way all the way to Nimbasa, all the way back to Nimbasa, where we will take on the gym leaders to the east of it. But as I was saying, competitive battling isn't something that I've ever been into, which with as much as I play Pokemon, that's the one aspect of Pokemon that I never got into was the hyper competitive, like actually learning Pokemon. Like I've battled, I mean obviously like I've played through the games, I understand all of that stuff, but like as an example, thinking about putting a certain number of EVs into the speed stat so that I outspeed this Mon and this Mon. I've never thought about something like that. I understand EVs and IVs. I understand all that stuff. I completely understand it. But I guess you would say that I'm a I'm the type of battler that would have like 252 EVs in one, 252 EVs in another, and what's the remaining? Like four? Have that in another. Like that's the kind of competitive battler I am. Or I'm a random battle comp competitive battler. Because I think if the team is made for me... No, maybe that's it. If the team is made for me, I think I could be a really good battler. Because I understand Pokemon, because I've been playing Pokemon for literally nearly my entire life. Quite literally nearly my entire life. Uh, anyway, we are here. That, that trek's not really that bad. It's really not. Alright. Check our Pokemon out. I need to heal. Give me a super potion. I don't have any super potions? Well, let's fix that. There's no sense in using a hyper potion on everybody just yet. Also, don't forget, when the Pokemon that we're fighting against get to level 40, they're all going to be force evolved. I hope they get to level 40. What the heck am I doing here? 
You know what? I don't even know if they're gonna really get to level 40. This whole series might just wind up being a wash. If we're being just- if I'm just being honest. With the whole level situation, ah, uh, we'll find out. I guess we're about to hit level 30 and we're only at the fourth gym, so, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still hoping that our, uh, Ultra Sun Wonderlock can start sometime soon. I, you know, I said last episode I wasn't really going to talk about it. But that whole series was supposed to be centered around, like, summertime. And summertime is almost over, and the series hasn't even started. <laughs> but that's okay. It will start eventually. And, uh, you've got a Magnemite. Level 25, I'm taking you on. Hymo, let's do this. Let's do this, big dog. Hit him with that Psy Shock. Boop, boop, boop. That did nothing. Acrobatics, that did nothing. All right, speed boost, cool, wonderful. Let's go for that Nightshade, you know what I'm saying? That did a little bit more, all right. Are you lulling me into a sense of security? Are you gonna pull up with some water type move in just a second? All right, cool. This might be evolution time. It might be evolution time right now. It might be. Oh, it will be after this next bat. You have a shelter. I really don't want to send something else in. What do you have? What do you have? Last time I used a new Pokemon, Powder Snow. Neutral? Neutral. Yeah. All right, Hymo. Arm thrust. Sure. Let's get rid of that little self-destruct thing. You know, we could we could go out with a bang. We could potentially go out with a bang. But I'm good. All right, Hymo. I need. You. I've asked this before. Just do what you do. It's all right. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. We have a Heatran in the PC. I ain't worried about it. I can't be upset. I can't be upset about a Servine. Let's check out our new friend. Imo the Servine. The name still fits. We are dark type. We are adamant nature. With the same stuff. Let's switch that up because we're adamant nature. Klutz. This po the Pokemon can't use any held items. I have a feeling Hymo's gonna wind up dying before Hymo can evolve. But let's continue our. Let's continue our battle miss. Battle miss. You have a Seismitode. What level? 26? I can take you on. Just don't hit me with an arm thrust like I'm gonna hit you with. Oh, it's a ghost type. It's a ghost. I don't know why, I, I, I blanked. I just totally blanked. I was like, what the heck isn't super, isn't effective. But I don't think, uh, I don't think, the first I shot. See, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think Nightshade can be super effective, is what, is what I'm, what I was attempting to say. Alright, cool, sit. Nice job, Haimo. So, you're not gonna evolve until level 36. Which is okay, it's fine, it's not a huge deal. That means I've gotta deal with you until, alright, alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm just trying to think of if we really, do we want to make? Other team changes? What did we almost catch here? I think we almost caught a muck right here. 
pretty sure we almost caught a muck right here. And sad times. Actually, I think it blew itself up. I think that's what it did. If I remember correctly, I think it blew itself up. Alright. Oh. I was like... I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that animation. I wish I could have a Zorark. That thing would be on the team immediately. I mean, as soon as we caught it. Something's coming off the team. Something's coming off the team. Anyway, we caught something here. I don't remember what it was. Oh! It was our, um... Uh... What was his name? Pui? Pui? You know, I went straight right because I was just trying to go fast and avoid the, the battle. Uh, also, remind me why I, I buy super repels and I don't use them. I didn't used to buy super repels. I didn't used to use repels at all. You know, there are people in the world with many different values. Some people enjoy things you might not think are fun. Having a lot of different values in the world makes it a richer place. That's what I think, anyway. I really enjoy traveling around the world and talking with different people. But the woman who lives here seems to think living quietly by herself is important. He said it right there. Oh! I thought there was like an in-game something going on. Um, hold on, let me, let me go in here, and as we... Is there more to this? I guess it's in black, black 2, white 2 that this is a, uh... This is where Zorark is. Maybe if I come back in another season, I can do more stuff in here. Or if, oh, I guess after I get Waterfall? I don't think you can get Waterfall in this game. Uh, but anyway. You know, that trainer was... I, I like what that trainer said. What that trainer said was... Sometimes people don't like the things that you like. Sometimes people like different stuff than you like. And that's okay. People don't have to like the same stuff that you like. People don't have to like the same stuff I like. People are entitled to their own opinions. You know, people can have Magnemite as their favorite Pokemon. And I can have Magnemite as maybe a Pokemon that I don't care much for. You know? Oh, that's that's not serious enough for you. Okay, let, let me try this again. Some people can like the president. Some people don't have to. The cool part is that it's okay. Now... Never mind. I mean, I, I could go a whole lot deeper, but... If you're one of those, if you're one of those people, I don't mean those people, I mean like, if you're someone that, you see it on social media all the time. This is why our intro says to be the light. Like, I don't know, I'm just going off on whatever now at this point. It's okay to have a different opinion than someone else. That's the story. That's the end story. That's the end of the story. It's okay. If you don't like the same things as someone else. We're all individual people. We can all have a... Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. A Landorus. A Landorus... Therian form. Wait. Hold on. I, I've got to... I've got to make it my... I almost just hit the reset button. Uh... Landorus Therian. 
This is Landorus Therian. What's the other Landorus called? Landorus... Landorus... Incarnate. Okay, got it. I'm about to sneeze. I barely caught that. You didn't even know I had a mute button, did you? Anyway, uh, let's, let's switch. Emery, you're the co-star of this episode. Very in an incarnate. What'd you just do? I don't know, but it sucked. Whatever it did, it sucked. Hey, 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 hey. All right, whose flying time move is better? That's what I thought. Now sit down and shut up. All right, cool. Cool. All right, I think that's it. The palace effect wore off. Perfect timing. So, in the next episode, we have made it to Drift Fail City. We have dominated all of the trainers. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. In the next episode, we're gonna do everything up until battling the gym leader. I think we should be able to, well, battling the gym. So we should be able to battle all of the trainers to the west, right before the Driftvale City Bridge. Um, and then we should be able to battle all of the trainers uh, in cold storage. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do that. I think we'll be able to do that. Because there's, there's a bunch of trainers here. Yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the pace that I have in mind for this, I feel like we don't we don't go quick enough. But we also just had a gym battle in the two episodes ago. So if we have another gym battle two episodes from now, that'd be four episodes for per gym. That would be actually that'd be perfect. So this is where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. I am thinking out loud. If you enjoyed our little backtrack, our little domination of a couple routes, make sure to thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe. Check out some other series that are on the channel. There's a whole lot of videos, a whole lot of series that have happened before the series that are out right now. Um, check out Conquest. It is going on currently, and hopefully our Sun Wonderlock is our Ultra Sun Wonderlock is coming soon. It's literally going to be up the day after I get the graphics. Like, I'm so ready to start it. But anyway, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We will see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity. Be the light, like our trainer told us in the route to the east of Nimbasa. Have a blessed day. <laughs>